Hey guys, welcome back. This is um, Let's Play of The Walking Dead, Season 1. Still in Episode 1 in the last video, we fixed defense. Talked to Kenny and Katya and Duck. And now we're gonna go help Herschel in the barn. You know, it's kind of nice that these uh, relaxing, peaceful moments are in this game as well. It gives the narrative a much more poignancy, I think, than uh, if it was just flat-out action all the time, looking at you, Kawa Duty. But anyway, let's go out, help out Herschel here in the barn. Hi, Herschel. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Drove. Herschel's good. I like him. Parents, wife, girlfriend. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Hmm. <laughs> but now you've got this little girl to take care of. Yep, we do. Time, is it? You just stumbled up on her? More or less. But anyway. Whoa! Shit, what's going on? Do what every middle American would do in a situation like this. Get my gun! Oh god, walkers. Not good. Not good. Oh shit! And now you're presented with your first of many no-win situations. So do you save the kid, or do you save the... Do you save the kid, or do we save the... Or the... Do we save the kid, or we save the man? We're gonna save the kid. Grab it. Grab it, Lee. Get him. Get him. Smack him. Die! There we go. Oh shit, he's pinned by the tractor. Oh shit, they broke through. Shoot them. Well, I guess it's too late for poor old Sean. Well, shit. This isn't good, guys. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I did too try to help. Fuck you. That's what I thought when I first played through this. This ain't good. Got 
got that ride to make it if you want. Oh, thank you, Kenny. We should go. And we're going to load some more. So, Sean Green, the first of many deaths. Promised I wouldn't give spoilers. But if you've watched the show, you probably know lots of people are going to die. Well, this is as far as we're going. At a guess. Ain't that typical? And thus the Powerpuff Girls were born! Wait, what? <laughs> anyway. Look. There's somebody over there. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Shit. When there's no more room in hell. The dead will walk the earth. Run. This is Carly, by the way. You're going to find that out later, but I uh, figured it wouldn't hurt to tell you now. You're going to like her, I think. Oh yeah, prepare for lots of drama. Lots of yelling at people. This like the show. They could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Where's Doug? What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Cliff. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them, then. You'll have something in common. Good. Oh, damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Oh, God, what do I say? I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic. That's for certain. Oh, shit. Son. Yep, that's how it goes in this. Just kick his ass. You won't fucking matter. Gotta be. Oh shit. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's what? just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for chilling a kid. He's There's a lot of ethical moral dilemmas in The Walking Dead. In case you don't know that. 
he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Then oh, shit. will be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Get him, Lee. Oh, God. I forgot about this, guys. Get her. Get her, Lee. Come on. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, thank you, whoever did that. You okay? Just great, thanks. Whew. Thanks, Carly. Oh shit. It sounds like somebody's out there got a Tommy gun. So we've got to go help this old dude that tried to kill us. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Spoiler alert. Uh, this... For anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'll just let Kenny talk. This drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. Yeah, I know. Oh, by the way, just so you know, guys, uh, this guy's name is Glenn. You know your way around? Local. Born and raised. Nice. If gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. Yep. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Doug. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Yep, we need to get him some pills. Um, just a spoiler alert. The reason why he had this educated guest, this is actually... Uh, this is actually Lee's family's drugstore that they mentioned earlier, so... In the next video, we will get his pills and other shenanigans, so tune in.